Hey guys and welcome to another GIMP Alchemist tutorial and today is going to be a fairly short tutorial but I'm going to show you how to make a album cover that looks pretty good and you can use this with other album covers or you can do it a different way if you don't like the way I'm doing it but this is just going to be the way that I'm going to do it right now and show you and stuff so this is the image I'm going to use and it's a wallpaper from wallpaperabyss.com and as you can see it looks you know pretty good it's you know looks very dark which would work very well for an album cover so what I'm gonna do now is take this little exacto knife or in proper terms uh, crop tool select an area then click on it and it will cut the rest of the area out giving me a good template for my thing now what I want to do is I want to open up a um, picture I'm using for the parental advisory mature content thing you know make it look more like a like an album I'm gonna move this to the bottom left hand corner like it is on most CDs and you can get this from Google Images just type in parental advisory or whatever and just get something that you think looks good okay now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a custom f well not I'm not gonna make it but I'm going to get a font that I'll use, and you can get these from www.defont.com. You can get some pretty cool looking ones from here, but I'm going to get more of a sort of dark looking one for this album, and I gotta find it now. Let's see, where did I put that? Um, yeah, this may take a bit. And yeah, but uh... Yeah, so just get a couple of fonts that you like. I'm going to use one called More Than Human. I'm going to put that up here. And I'm going to put the band name, which in this one I'm going to call it Awkward Silence. I think I spelt something wrong. <laughs> ah, well, it, maybe it'll make it look more like a band thing or something along those lines. I have no clue. But now, I'm going to go and get a different font for the album name. And this time, I'm going to use a more kind of... Hmm, well, we'll just have to see. Okay, come on. Bunch of kanji and stuff down there. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Ah, uh, hmm. I think I'm getting close. Here it is. There we are. That's what I was looking for. Now it changed that font to that, but I, I guess we could leave it for that. I mean, it may end up looking more, um, uh, what's the word? Um, consistent? Yeah. But I'm gonna name this album Mania. I'm gonna make this bigger and make it take up a good bit. Now, it doesn't really look good all together, so I'm going to space these each out by one space. Make this look a little cooler. And wow, that looks pretty good. And as you can see here, we have a pretty nice looking uh, album once we get this in. And you could put this on a CD cover after you print it out and get it, you know, sized correctly or whatever. And yeah. And thanks for watching this tutorial, by the way, and I shall be putting another one up soon. Uh, but first I'm gonna save it and stuff, you know, I'll call it Mania. There we go. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching this tutorial, and I uh, will put one up as soon as possible.